Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. On a previous video, I shared this math calendar activity using Google Slides, which a lot of y'all really enjoyed. But for those who asked if it was possible to make this activity on Seesaw, here it is, you guys. As you guys can see, I pretty much brought everything from the Google Slide version to the Seesaw version. So everything is almost, almost, almost the same, but let me point out the things that are different. Let's begin with the numbers. As you guys can see, the numbers are not in order and they are not all organized in one corner. I actually pretty much just put them everywhere around so that way it's a little bit more challenging for the students to actually find the number. Also your students are going to have to be very careful with what number they select. They might have to move things out of the way in order to uncover the other number. What I like about this page is that you can make the shapes as big as you want or as small as you want and the number size stays the same depending on how big or how small you want the shape to be. Since you're assigning this to the students something that they need to be aware of is that whenever they drag the tallies or the base 10 blocks they they will have to duplicate the image so they will basically go to the three dots and they will click on duplicate so make sure you teach them how to do that on page two to add the numbers to the calendar they will have to either click the letter t to add a text or they could use the pencil which i highly suggest the pencil the reason i suggest the pencil is because whenever they drag the sun to the calendar as you guys can see it goes behind it so basically you will have to teach your students to order this and bring it to the front Mm -hmm. So that's why I suggest the pencil. On the last page, you can see the wheel and the highlighter. Now the students can click on the wheel and this will take them to another page in which they can just spin the wheel and whatever number it lands on, then they come back to the seesaw activity and they use the highlighter to find that number. Now don't forget to teach them how to duplicate so that way you can assign maybe them spinning the wheel more than one time, maybe do it like five times. And I think they will actually love doing this activity. Find the link to this activity in the description of this video. I hope you guys like this activity. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.